Well, good evening. My name is Craig Blanchett, and I'm an optimal health and lifestyle coach. And I'm excited to, um, with this um, uh, topic tonight, we've got three people who are going to share their stories of life transformation. And, um, and then uh, at the end, I'm going to share some strategies that we've used, and we'll have a little conversation. And, uh, but I want to first start off with um, uh, my story. Um, basically, what happened to me was around six years ago, this is actually a photo when I was working for a company called Iris Inc. And I was uh, selling computers. It was an Apple reseller. And there's a, a local radio host. His name's Lars Larson. And I was in their studio talking to them. And this is the photo. And you can see how, um, I, I mean, that was after eight years of selling computers that I just kind of got fat. This is a picture at Wheelchair Sports Camp. And so some of you here know about Wheelchair Sports Camp. We talk about that quite a bit. And um, this was, I think we were bowling um, at the bowling alley. And, you know, and meanwhile, I'm thinking I'm a pretty um, athletic guy. And, you know, really, I just, I had about 50 pounds of extra weight hanging around on me. And then this is a, a photo here of, um, uh, I was in a friend's wedding, and um, I was the best man in his wedding, and so he was standing right next to me, and and then as you can see, the photo on the right there is, um, that was about a week ago, and um, here's today, so how do you like them apples? Um, but basically, my story was is that I just kind of um, gained a bunch of weight and, and um, really was uh, challenged with keeping my weight off and... Um, how about that? Somebody's at the door. So um, what I'm going to do is, since you guys have heard my story before, we're going to transition over. Um, actually, just hold on a second. I'll get rid of this dog. Okay. There you go. Hey there, buddy. Come on in. Don't worry. Save that. My phone I'm glad that happens at his house too. Mine. <laughs> this is real life, right? We get to. Oh, I was just gonna pipe in. So he was trying to actually get the physique, that physique of a bowler, wasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, anyhow, there you go. Um, uh, real life. Uh, anyway, so that's my story. And uh, without further ado, I'm gonna um, bring on uh, Debbie. And I have a before and after picture of Debbie that I want to show you guys. Um, and here's Debbie. So can you see that? Yes, now you can. And so I think Debbie's on. So Debbie, go ahead and unmute yourself, and then let's um, let's have a little bit of a conversation here about your journey. Okay. There you go. Now hi. We can yeah, hi. hi. So, um, can you hear me? Yeah. Hello. Mm -hmm. Loud and clear. So, Debbie, tell us about, it looks like this photo on the left was maybe one of your weigh-ins for one of our um, online health, health challenges. But tell us a little bit about that lady over there. Well, yeah, that was my first health challenge, and it was when I was first uh, introduced to the Habits of Health, and that's my biggest loser photo. And um, I, yeah, that, at that point, I was really unhappy with the, the, the weight I was at, and um, I just really felt like um, it was time to make some changes. Uh, that health, somebody invited me to a health game. So I think it was thin it to win it. And that was about a year and three months ago. And um, it was the kick in the butt that I needed. I, I jumped at the chance to, to do it because I wanted to make some changes. And um, I am a older mom. I had my son at 42, almost 43. And he, what, who, and he's in the photo. And um, I was all right with being an older mom, but I was not all right being with a, a fat older mom. And I did not want to be one of those moms that, that um, had gray hair and was overweight. And so, um, and that in the beginning of this journey for me, I tried to do it myself in the beginning. Um, I 
thought that if I just ate healthy and, and did all the right things and exercise that, um, the weight would come off easily. Um, but everything that I started reading about in the health games and just getting the healthy, the, um, habits of health, I started to realize that I really started liking what I was hearing and reading about what I needed to do to change. And, um, and yeah, it, that's, that's where it began. I lost my first initial, I initially first lost 23 pounds and, um, but then I stalemated. I stayed at the same weight for six months mm. and, um, and just, it, just slowly, very slowly losing the weight. Mm -hmm. And so um, I started to take advantage of some of the things that the, this program offers, which is a free health coach, and started talking to my health coach. And the great thing that I liked was um, the, the space that this program gave me to make the decisions and make the mistakes that I, not necessarily mistakes, but just that um, it was my choice. It's always been my choice. Mm -hmm. And, um, and, and it, it just eventually starts to sink in slowly, but surely. And, uh, just this November, I bought my first kit and got the mail replacements. Mm -hmm. And cause I decided I wanted to try it cause I really felt that it, uh, I should really just give it a, the, my 100% to really mm -hmm. try this program. Um, I like the fact that there was some percentage, I can't remember exactly, that if you become a health coach, that you're, you have this huge percentage of chance to, to, to maintain the weight loss. And that is really my big why right now is, and one of the things I love about this program is the focus on maintenance. Any other program that I've ever worked with has always just kind of shown you how to lose the weight, given you some tips on what you should do when you're losing the weight. But then once you're done, then you're done. And it's, and it really is up to you, but I just didn't really feel like, and obviously cause I gained the weight back on the other programs that I had, they didn't, it didn't obviously sink in. And I just ended up gaining the weight back. Um, now, and I'm able to keep up with my son, people that are younger than me, that because uh, the moms and stuff that are 38 years old can't believe the amount of energy that I have. And, um, and just, it, I just really feel great. Oh, and also not just the weight, I've lost like five inches in my waist. Mm. And, and that was the big thing too, is that this program helps get my BMI and my, um, my waist size to a healthy weight. And I can say that I think I just hit the 35 inches on my waist. Oh, wow. And that was, that's huge because no matter what I did, I, you know, the weight, the weight in my waist never went anywhere. I lost mm -hmm. it, my arms, my legs, my face, but not my waist. Mm -hmm. And this, so that's well, th that's where I'm at. Thank you. There's reasons for that because this focus is not on weight loss. It actually targets the stored body fat, converts that into fuel that you burn. And um, but I, I loved what your story was because I've seen you since the beginning being part of our challenges. And and our challenges are really their health education. It's really we actually made a uh, we took a a study class and we made it fun to learn how to be healthy. And so you get points for doing healthy things. And so I remember you coming into the first challenge on one of the teams and you were just playing along learning. And as your appetite grew for more and more health, you took advantage of more and more of the tools that we have and eventually have taken advantage of all of the tools um, meaning the full one-on-one -on -one working with your health coach, the habits of health curriculum. I know you're still involved in our challenges and it looks like you are, um, you are sold out to this process and this community that you want to help. You have some other people that you'd like to see if you can help. And so that really is the full trilogy. Not only do we, we, find health for ourselves, but there's a bunch of people around us that are looking for it. And um, just like we were at one point, so we can find those people and then we can help them. And 
what I love about that is if, if we're able to help the people around us become healthier and we're all kind of on a team, we're all healthier in that process. If I'm one in 10 that's healthy, I don't have very good chances. But if only one in 10 is not healthy, we have great chances. So I want to just thank you for um, not giving up and for continuing to come back and just asking for more. And it has been a thrill. So thank you for sharing your story. And I hope, I hope there was people that were inspired literally um, by your story and the change and, and the, the pictures. It's amazing. It really is amazing. Transformation. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah. You're welcome. Awesome. So next up we're going to have, we're going to bring on Jason. And so um, here is Jason's um, his side and front before pictures and then his side and front current pictures actually. And so welcome Jason. Welcome. Yeah. So tell us just a little bit about that guy on the top there. I, I remember, I remember seeing him for quite a few years. Uh, yeah, uh, and Craig and I have known each other for a while, um, and uh, uh, I knew that he was a health coach, and I've known for years that I needed to do something about my health. Um, I was on blood pressure medication and uh, uh, a lot, lot of different medications uh, due to some poor health, and uh, wanted to get healthy, and so really the summer of 2000. 14, I was going through kind of a job transition and was really, you know, wanting to explore getting healthy. And I, uh, I used my, um, my tried and true strategy of, um, of doing nothing. And, uh, and so for the seven or eight months, nothing happened. And so, uh, uh, starting last, uh, last spring, I, um, I, I, you know, formally reached out to Craig and, and he's, he's helped other men that I've known. And, um, I, I've tried several weight loss programs and, and you know, and I, and I don't ever want to knock anything else, but you know, I just, um, uh, I tried one that involved, you know, kind of going to meetings and, and oftentimes I was the only, only guy there and, and felt really out of place and uncomfortable. And I think I went for maybe four or six months one time to, to these meetings. And I don't think I spoke a single time in, in, in that entire time and didn't really feel connected there and and then once you lose some weight you kind of that's kind of it and you're not a part of that community anymore and so um you know and it's been this decade-long struggle really and so got connected with craig and um just began the the five and one plan and you know really when my food showed up i just was trying to think of all kinds of reasons not to start right away you know, and so that's my family. Uh, but, you know, think of all kinds of reasons not to start right away. And uh, one of the, you know, and then uh, decided to go ahead and go for it. And uh, um, with Craig's support and my family's support and, uh, you know, I've lost about 105 pounds. So it's been pretty, pretty awesome. And, uh, um, you know, I can do things I haven't been able to do since I was 17 or 18 years old, really. Um, and so what's, that's been... What's hard. something specific that you've noticed... Because obviously, the way you look is dramatically uh, is dramatic, but I'm sure there's things that are dramatic that have nothing to do with your looks. Uh, can you think about some of those? Yeah, you ever I, 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 I don't take any medications anymore. You know, I went to, last time I went to the doctor, the uh, blood pressure, everything was fine. So I've been taking off all medication, and um, uh, which is that's a great benefit right there, obviously. And so uh, a lot of the health markers are significantly improved. Uh, but I have two little kids and just being able to, to keep up with them and uh, really, you know, even kind of surprise them a little bit now when I'm, when I'm able to chase them down. My, my son the other day was, we were running and just just chasing each other you know and he said dad i didn't know you could run that fast or something like that so i was you know and that was that was a boost to the old pride you know so uh but it was uh um just just those kind of things me i, I love the outdoors and so uh, you know it was a struggle you know to not be able to do all that stuff and not be able to hike and not be able to i mean i, could, I would try it but i'd have to quit early and you know and uh um my siblings still give me a hard time about the time that we were hiking and it was the middle of winter in the Northwest. And, uh, um, 
I was so out of breath and so sweaty and so hot that I literally, I took off my sweater and I'm just walking around in this, you know, this undershirt. This is, it's probably 35 degrees outside, you know, and I'm drenched with sweat and I thought, you know, and, uh, um, and I, and now I get cold all the time. I'm the weirdo that in the room, I'm always like looking for, you know, going to grab my sweater or something. But so, uh, so just being able to do those things is awesome. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm now looking into helping other people and I'm excited about that and just, uh, really, yeah, I just can't describe all the, all the changes. It's, it's really been incredible. Mm, so. That's good. I remember you told me a story about you were, you, I don't know if you were skiing or you were jumping or you were doing something and you're like, well, I, I mean, I'm still a big guy and I still have to be careful, but I can, I can jump or I can, it was something, yeah. you, you remember what that was? Yeah, I, uh, I was, my son and I were having a contest to see who could jump off this rock wall the highest. And so, um, and I, you know, I was pretty high and thought, I'm going to give this a shot. And, you know, when I landed, I realized, okay, there's still some physical limitations to, yeah. <laughs> to the age of my body. But so, uh, but it was just fun to, to think I even had a shot at it, you know, yeah. never would have tried anything like that. So that was kind of yeah. fun. Well, that's great. Yeah. Well, they say, um, this is one thing that I, that I tell a lot of my clients is that for every 10 pounds of weight you lose, it takes mm -hmm. um, 40 pounds of pressure off of your ankles and your knees. And so a lot of people literally have just problems going up and down stairs. It's very painful. And so l losing 10 pounds, I mean, imagine 20 pounds, that's 80 pounds of pressure. I have people that lose 20 pounds and they're like, I can't believe how great my legs feel. And it's like, well, here's why. And then when you're running downhill, it's even greater pressure. And so anyway, it's, it's, you've been an inspiration to me. Literally, we, most of the time when I talk with um, Jason, it's on the telephone. And just recently we started doing video chats and the first time I saw him, I, I'm like, what the, oh my goodness. It was so profound, the physical change that it was, is a mind blower. So thank you for sharing your story and being an inspiration to me. And I'm, I'm looking forward to the people that are, and that you come across that want what to, to taste what you've had and, and to be part of really this journey. And, um, it's, uh, thanks for your story. I appreciate your time. Thank you. All right. So it looks like it's about 24 after. I'm going to go ahead and um, see what we can do to have um, uh, Diana May. Uh, so Diana May is here. She's actually a um, Stacy's mom. And so Stacy's a coach that works with us. Let me get your picture up here, uh, Diana. And you're going to have to unmute yourself if you're not unmuted. Uh, yep, you are unmuted, it looks like. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about the lady on the left in the pink shirt. All right. I'm the mother of 10 children and 10 grandchildren, and I just figured 10 kids, I'm going to be big. Um, my mother went outside and fell over dead. Just all of a sudden, she was supposedly healthy, but she just passed away. And my good friend Sharon Jurgis was losing weight like crazy, and she was over for something. And I said, what on earth are you doing? And um, our good friend Barbara Cleary, Cleary, who we go to church with, um, said, you know, give her a call. Here's her number. And um, on the right, I met my goal, 80 pounds. So I, I was ready to go up to a size 22, and I'm now in a size 6. Um, I have walked to the top of Multnomah Falls. I have walked to the top of the tallest sand dunes in Oregon. Um, actually beat my daughter up there. <laughs> the kid, the grandkids are like, grandma can play with this and I can go play with them. Um, I feel good. Um, I, I not depressed. I didn't realize I thought I was a happy person. I mean, I've got 10 children. I've got 10 grandchildren. You know, what more can you ask for in life? Um, but I'm happy now. Um, and I think that's the difference trying to lose weight before and this totally transform. And so when my daughter popped up and said, mom, you know, the transformation is awesome. What are you doing? And I said, honey, you need to do this. It'll just change your life. Um, which it has, I mean, she's what down 25, 30 pounds. I'm not sure. Um, but she's a different person now. 
I'm so proud of her. She's, she's kind of the inspiration that I keep going. Um, I'm in maintenance now. Um, Barbara said to say that. So I'm three and three and I've been there for two weeks and I really haven't moved at all, even with Christmas <laughs> and all the chocolates that came with that. But, um, it's just amazing, you know, and, and my husband was working with me before and with other diets and, you know, you, you tell him to shut up. I don't want to hear you. I don't want to hear I'm big. And other people were like, when I posted that, when I hit my, my goal, they're like, we didn't realize you were that big. And I'm like, I didn't. And, and I mean, you were just mentioning, you know, walking. I was ready to go spend $300 on some special orthopedic shoes because my feet hurt so bad. Now I can, I, I, I do cards for a living. Um, I love my job, but I was going to quit because I was just in so much pain. But um, my knees don't hurt. I'm not on Tylenol like I was for you know, my back, my knees, and my feet. Um, there's nothing like it. And it's, it's not just the losing weight. You know, it, it's, you make a choice. Every time you look at that chocolate, do I really need that? And it's like, no, I don't need that. I, I can do with that. Let's, I'm going to go get some carrots. I just had my turnips. I love turnips. So, um, you know, which is a much better choice. Um, I feel fantastic. I'm thankful that Sharon turned me on and that Barbara stuck by me and that my daughter's on the same path and anybody I can find and send her way or anybody's way, it's just like, it works. Well, I love what you said. Thank you so much for your story. Uh, but one of the things you said that stood out to me is that your friends said they didn't recognize you and that your um you've changed. You didn't realize how bad it was. And the reality is, is that you don't actually change kind of how you interact with life. You won't actually, your, your physical change will be temporary. And so that's what the essence of our program is, is we're about installing, learning healthy habits and then practicing them. And what we find here in, is if we do it in community, we kind of we kind of live off of the excitement of the group and together we have much better chance of this being a lasting change than a, than a just a short term weight loss thing and so i just want to thank you diana for your encouraging and inspiring story it it really is and so thank you for sharing with us tonight um I wanted to cover a little bit of the strategies. You've heard three people, four people's stories now. And, and we have, um, I talked a little bit about something we call the habits of health. And there's like nine or 10 habits of health that are just kind of basic. One of them is simply water. You know, well, how much, how often, you know, that's, that's part of those healthy habits. Because if you drink water for a little while and stop, you new loan no longer get the benefit of that of that habit, and so we have a, a habits of health training program. We have a some nutrition strategies that help you to interact when you order healthy when you're out, be able to navigate um, situations where you're at parties, be able to shop at the grocery store. We have all this kind of training, and you start to learn how to cook healthy. Um, for many of us that are needing to lose that weight. We've got a really simple system that kind of takes care of the heavy lifting while you're learning some of those habits to get you in a fat burning state and actually get you to your healthy weight. And in the process, we're teaching you those habits that will will carry on afterwards. And then the last piece that we use is everybody has a health coach and you have access to this community. Um, Alex McMillan, he's a health coach um, on our team that um, – that I respect a lot. He said community really is a, if you break down community into two words, common unity. And so what we found is that um, we are all commonly unified over the idea that none of us is as healthy as we'd like to be. And we've decided to work on it together. And so if you, if that's you and you're on here listening to one of these stories and you're inspired, connect with the person that invited you to come on here and you can join in like Debbie did. Maybe you can join in one of the challenges. Who knows? Just 
consider not continuing to doing what you have been doing, especially if that's not getting you where you want to go. And, and try something new. If this inspires you to drink some drink more water, great. Um, you can come back here every week at 6 o'clock West Coast time. We have stories and strategies and things like that, and we're all trying to figure out how to make this stick for good and have us really um, live these healthy lives. Um, David Miller, well, one of my mentors, he said, um, health is like the laundry. It's never done. And so this isn't something that you just do. This is something you keep doing. And when if we keep practicing these habits of health, the likelihood that we stay healthy and or continue to get healthy is really good. So um, we have just a minute or two here. Um, I wanted to open this up. If you guys have a question or a comment uh, to one of the people that spoke tonight, go ahead and just unmute yourself and jump in. And, and let's just spend a little bit of time with maybe some encouragement or um, – uh, a comment here. Question. Hi, Marianne. Good to see you. Wow. I went to school, high school with Marianne. So it's been it's fun to see her again. So who has a question or a comment? Jump in. Okay, so I'll jump in. I just want to say that this, I've been coming to these meetings for a while. And, and I've always loved what people have had to share. And I don't know whether it's just because we're coming off of the holidays and it's a new, renewed energy for me. But every single one of the stories had something very, very specific for me. So I want to thank um, Debbie and, and Jason, and especially Diana, because she, I, I was on her personal journey with her. And um, so I'm inspired for the rest of the year. So thank you. Awesome. Yeah. Anybody else have a comment about someone's journey or something maybe that inspired them? Richard, are you trying to talk? I can't hear you if you are. No. <laughs> I actually, I'll, I'll add a couple. Just yeah. from some some thoughts and thank you for sharing your stories. Those were awesome. Um, one was, and I, uh, what's funny is as we get healthy, we start to feel young again and we start to have this young mind that we can do things that maybe we really shouldn't attempt anymore. <laughs> like I can jump off a wall yeah. and jumping's fine. It's still the landing that we're not as, ex we're not as adept at because we haven't done it in a while. Uh, so that was just really kind of a funny or a great story but the last one that I um, uh, the way my mind works is how cool is it I don't have to, you don't have to get special shoes anymore because of the health that we have so I've gone to I'm now back where I can buy my shoes off the rack I'm an off the rack person yeah off the rack clothing as well you know yes. you don't have to special to buy clothes in those special stores. That's one of the biggest things that I've, that the most profound thing is that they say, I can buy clothes at the regular stores. And I don't know if, for you, for the ladies that are here, the first time, it's like your health journey becomes real when you go try on clothes and you look at the size and you're like, wait a minute. And you, you button them up and you're like, wait, that says eight. Are you kidding me? you know, or whatever it says for you. But it seems as though when I'm working with clients that when they're in the dressing room, there's like, there's like this glow that kind of shines through the door of like this, ah, a moment where you're like, it's real. The, the pants don't lie. Right. And so, um, I've heard lots of stories where it becomes real as you guys, um, take it, take, um, take responsibility for those choices to do the things necessary so that you actually get to live in the body that, that, that is you. Awesome stuff. All right, guys. Well, thanks for joining us tonight. If you want to stay on, we're going to, um, each week for the next 26 weeks, we're going to be doing a chapter in the habits of health together. And so if you don't have the book, you can buy it from Amazon. It's called Dr. Ace habits of health. And, um, and if you have the book or not, you can still listen in, and, and we're going to do a chapter review. And so I'm going to um, stop the recording now, and I will um, – so don't go anywhere if you want to listen in. We're going to take about the next half hour and go through our chapter review, and then, um, and, uh, then we'll continue on after that. So.
Thanks to all that you joined us. If you're going to leave now, thanks. You're welcome to come back next week at 6 o'clock for some more stories and some more conversation.